Hi, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to apply a default gray material to all the surfaces of a DAS Studio character. This was a question actually by Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. And I thought I'm going to, I was going to reply to your comment and just write out how to do it, but it is actually more complex to explain it than to quickly show it. So that's why I'm showing it to you. So uh, I'm, I've got DAS Studio 4.10 open already on a Mac. And what we need here are two tabs that we need to have open for this to work efficiently. Uh, the first one is the Surfaces tab. I've got that open here already on the sidebar. That's the Surfaces tab. And the other one that we need is the Shader Mixer tab. And I've got that open here already. Now those tabs, they may not always be open by default. So if you need that, if you don't see them in your interface, then you have to head over to Window panes in brackets tabs and then you've got this super long list of things that you can pick here and you can find the surfaces tab and the shader mixer tab down here so they need to have a tick box in there then either floating palettes or they're being docked already and you can go and dock them so that's one thing that you need to do because we're going to be working with those two now the the thing that elizabeth wanted to know is if you load a das studio character it comes in with skin textures applied but sometimes that is not what you want and um, it has the skin textures are very large and sometimes you just want a just default gray material to play around with it is also good for renders where you want to emphasize the clothing rather than anything else you know don't want you don't want anyone to get distracted by the skin textures so let me show you how to do that I'll load a random character in, so under my Smart Content tab here, I'm going to head over to Figures, and I'll see what we have here under People. I have a lot of characters, so perhaps we're going to use um, Genesis, um, some bloke here. Perhaps we're going to use, let's use Jason here, Jason with a beard. If I double-click him, that's a 3D Universe figure, by the way, like a Toon figure. I believe he's based on either Genesis... Genesis 1 actually he's based on but the principle is going to work with literally all the characters so we can see he's got his uh, skin texture applied here hello Jason how you doing and um, uh, we don't really want to see that so the the thing that makes these things visible is in fact the surfaces tab so let's change over to that and we can see that we have our figure here if we expand that then we can see all these surface areas. So each surface area is defined either with a texture or with a color. So here we can see that this is the kind of the texture mat that's applied to his iris. Or then we have the tongue here. That's what that's what the tongue texture looks like, and so forth. Uh, the newer Genesis figures they work slightly different. You see more flyout menus here. In fact, let me let me load a Genesis 8 figure into this as well just so that we have both versions. So I'm going to move Jason to one side. I'm going to go back to my um, people and let's see if we have somebody like Michael 8. There he is, Michael 8. And the principle is the same, but if we now open the Surfaces tab and we see that just so Genesis is the is, is this guy here, um, and we, whoops, sorry, we're going to select Michael 8, and then we can see that if we open this, we get to see something else. So we have default templates, nails, skin, and all that sort of thing. So there's a Surfaces fly out menu here and if you click that then you have the same that the the stand the standard genesis one figure just featured this basically but here we have a few other things so just click here onto surfaces which will then select all the surfaces below michael 8 so uh, again you can you can have a look what the iris texture texture looks like and what the facial texture looks like and so forth so you can either select one of these individually or you can just select the whole thing and then the everything underneath it will be selected that's step one all the surfaces need to be selected now let me switch over from the scene view here into my aux viewport so that i've got both these things here and I'm going to do that because as soon as I switch over the shader mixer view here then that kind of goes away but we can still keep a little eye on what Michael looks like here. Now the shader mixer is one of those things it's rarely used because it's complicated and it's completely undocumented thanks Das that's a really nice job there um, but when you open it it comes up with one 
default material in it, which is this one, the DS default material. And that's the kind of the gray that we can use. That If you create a primitive, for example, and a create primitive up here, then you would get a primitive that is clad in this gray material. And this is exactly that material, the DAS default material. Now to apply that to any of the surfaces that we've selected here on the left-hand side in the Surfaces tab, all we need to do is hit Apply. And then this material will be applied to anything that is selected there. So if I do that, have a look up here in the AUX viewport now. If I do that, then Michael 8 is completely gray. And it's just one single click that does that. Now, if we go back to the JSON figure here, to the Genesis 1 figure, I'm going to uh, just only do that for the torso, just as a, as a demonstration here. See if we can find the torso or the tongue in a mouth, something. Skin torso, there we go. If I select that, just this particular type of thing, and hit apply, then you can see that just his torso is being applied, is being given that, that gray texture here, but nothing else. So this is how you can do that selectively. Or then, uh, just like before, if I just select the whole thing at the top, or the surfaces tab on a, on a later Genesis figure, and then hit apply, then the whole thing is gonna be clad in gray. And of course, that happens in the large viewport as well. And that is how you apply a gray default material to all surfaces of a character. Works also with buildings. If you need to have an untextured view of, a, of an architectural thing, then you can do that uh, by the same principle. There we go. That was it. I hope this was helpful. If you liked this video, of course, please share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also support me. If you like these videos, then you can support me on Patreon. There's a link to it underneath the video. And also, brand new, actually, I didn't know if you know this, but you can catch these videos also as an audio feed on my brand new podcast. So uh, that is also available. I'm going to put a link on that in the description as well. So thank you so much. I hope, uh, especially Elizabeth, this helped you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.